Hi, my name is John. Welcome to the ScienceLogic product video series. In this video, you'll learn how SL1 helps you automate CI lifecycle management. As new devices and services are added to your IT estate, SL1 automatically detects them, applies the appropriate monitoring and event policies, and starts monitoring. When we look in the ServiceNow Configuration Management Database, we see that SL1 has synchronized the data and created configuration item records for each new device. SL1 takes CMDB synchronization several steps further by automating the full CI lifecycle, including creation, updates, maintenance, business services, and retirement of the CI. We can see that our virtual machine is currently configured with two gigabytes of memory. Let's suppose an engineer upgrades that virtual machine from two to four gigabytes of memory. SL1 notifies the service desk of the configuration change to the CI. ServiceNow could be configured to check if a change management ticket has been approved for the CI. If not, an unapproved change notification would be sent to management. Gartner has stated that 80% of all outages are due to changes in the environment. This type of visibility into change management is extremely important. Let's look at how this works. Here we can see a list of SL1 automations that are running in the background. For the purposes of this video, we will select the sync devices from SL1 automation. Here is the SL1 drag and drop automation interface used to define new automations. We'll slow this down to visualize the process. As this automation runs, the boxes will change from gray to blue to green as the steps are completed. SL1 automations have synchronized the changes and updated the CMDB to reflect the new memory configuration of 4 gigabytes. Just like ScienceLogic discovered individual devices and synchronized those configuration items with the CMDB, SL1 also defines business services. The CI's relationship to other configuration items within the CMDB business service are also updated by SL1. And when a CI is no longer needed, the final disposition is also updated in the CMDB. So with SL1, you can identify changes faster and notify the right people, enforce change management processes and compliance rules, and ensure consistent data and processes, reducing operational costs and risk of change. Thanks for tuning in, and I look forward to joining you in our next video.